That's right, today we're going to be looking at gear I wish I took with me when wild camping in the Lake District. So if you've watched a few of my videos already, you'll know that I went on a one week wild camping trip in the Lake District. And that was in September. And whilst the weather was very nice with clear blue skies, that did mean that the nights were especially cold. Um, I think on one night it got down to around 3 degrees, other nights were around 4 to 5 degrees. So it was a little bit chilly. And as a result, my first item on my list of gear that I wish I took with me is a pair of good quality woolly socks. Now sleeping in a sleeping bag, no matter what sleeping bag it is, your feet do tend to get colder than the rest of your body, with the core of your body staying nice and warm, and your extremities, being your feet and your hands, getting colder. And for me, I made the very amateur decision of not bringing with me a pair of nice, woolly, warm socks. Similarly, a pair of good quality woolly gloves as well. And that is another piece of equipment that I forgot to bring with me on my wild camping trip. And whilst it wasn't extremely cold out there, I did find that my hands did get very cold, um, especially on a damp morning uh, when there's still a bit of condensation in the air and the wind really does wick the heat away from your fingers so gloves will be a item to take next time another item that i wish i took with me is my hand warmer too after a long day of hiking in the lake district um, what you want is to get a nice hot cup of drink inside you a nice hot lunch and get into a nice toasty sleeping bag as well now i don't personally have a down sleeping bag um, I used a polyester sleeping bag, synthetic, and they do take a little bit of time to warm up. And I think one item that would have really helped me raise my core body temperature up quickly in them sort of circumstances is a hand warmer. Now, the one that I've got with me today is a lighter fluid hand warmer. Now, this one is a Jack Pike brand. Um, works perfectly well. There are also Whitby hand warmers which I have got and these tend to burn a little bit warmer in my experience. But basically if you're not familiar with a lighter fluid hand warmer, as the name implies, they use lighter fluid, the same fluid that you put in a Zippo lighter. And all you do is top up the inside, pop the catalytic burner on top, put a few drops on the burner, light it and then the flame will disappear and this will just glow a nice hot ember and these do get really nice and warm as well so warm in fact that you do also get a little fabric pouch just so it is a little bit easier to handle but if i had this with me i would have been really happy now do bear in mind that with this hand warmer you do also have to take a little bottle of lighter fluid with you as well that being said, fill this up halfway and it does last around six hours, so you haven't got to bring a lot of lighter fluid at all with you. The next item that I wish I had with me um, is a few more bin bags and dry bags as well. Now for a week of wild camping, I took with me around five or six decent quality heavy duty bin liners just to put dry clothes, um, wet clothes and food, just to keep it all separated and clean. And five or six for me, I found wasn't enough, especially after you're eating food, you've got packaging um, that you need to take with you to the bin. And so I found myself running out of um, containers. So on the next trip, I'll probably take 10 to 12 um, bin liners with me. Because we got the weather very lucky when we were in the Lake District, I found myself wearing shorts and t-shirt most of the time. And you might not think about this, but when you are wearing shorts, your ankles do get exposed and contaminants and foreign objects do get inside your socks and do cause irritation. Now in the Lake District particularly, I found that there's a certain type of grass that grows there on the hills. And this grass, when it's dry, has little seeds and these seeds shed off so when you walk past any sock brushes on the grass, these seeds that must have little barbs or something inside them get stuck in your sock, travel down your sock and into your shoe. And having a little spiky seed in your shoe is just really distracting. And what I found I had to do is stop every few minutes 
uh, bend down and pull the seed out of my sock. Now here I have with me an ankle gaiter and if you're not familiar with these basically all these are is a bit of fabric normally waterproof that covers your ankles. They're velcro so they fit around your legs really easily there's no need to take your shoe off. So inside fairly simple there's a little strap here and you put your foot on top of the strap and you do the velcro up around your ankle. On most of them you have a little clip here as well just to hook on your shoelaces just to keep it in place. Now especially if you're wearing shorts this really does help to keep any stones, seeds or sharp things out of your shoes. I think these ankle gaiters are Andy's brand off eBay, cost around seven or eight pounds for a pair but for that money uh, I think it's well worth it. The last item on my list is a simple tub of Vaseline or any other type of moisturiser. After two or three days of wild camping in the Lake District, uh, me and Sam both found that our lips were getting extremely dried out and our hands as well and that caused a lot of discomfort. So a little tub of moisturiser for me personally is probably one of the things that I would have wanted most of all uh, when camping. I don't know why that was um, with the lips getting dry um, but I suspect that because it was really sunny all the time we were there with no cloud coverage uh, the sun just dries out your lips especially. Another possible reason might have been um, nutrition as well. Uh, we were eating quite a lot of carbohydrates over everything else so maybe some more oily food or protein rich food might have uh, solved the problem. And there we have the items that I wish I took with me when wild camping and hiking in the Lake District. Now as a little disclaimer, these are just my personal preferences of what I would have liked to take with me. If you did like the video and you found it useful in any way, you can always like the video and subscribe. Of course, you don't have to. <laughs> See you in another video.